as I mentioned, the acute kidney failure usually happens when there's some sort of sudden insult of the kidney. Um, <clears throat> in theory, acute renal failure can turn into chronic renal failure if someone doesn't recover. You know, not everybody with acute renal failure has recovery of kidney function. Um, and then in that case, they can go on to have chronic kidney disease. Most people with chronic kidney disease, what used to be called chronic renal failure, have some sort of disease process that affects the kidneys. In this country, most commonly diabetes, second di uh, hypertension. PKD is sort of the third most common, although some people will, will group a, a bunch of different diseases that affect the filtering units into a, a sort of a generic group called glomerulonephritis. If you group all the, there are a number of different diseases that, that can affect the glomeruli, the filtering units in the kidney. If you lump all those together, they're actually more common than PKD. But, you know, regardless of whether you're a lumper or a splitter, you know, there are a number of different chronic diseases that chronically affect the kidneys and, and in many cases lead to progressive de deterioration of kidney function. When we talk about end-stage renal disease, and I think that's kind of a poor term, frankly, but really what we're talking about is impairment of kidney function on a chronic basis to the point where your kidneys are no longer doing an effective job at removing waste products to the point where your health is, is at risk. Having said that, even before you develop end-stage renal disease, there are complications of just having chronic kidney disease, chronic renal failure. Um, many of those complications don't cause symptoms, but we can detect them chemically. And, and before people start dialysis, we will f typically treat some of these chemical you know, complications to try and avoid um, risks to the patient. Um, you know, side effects that, that can be problematic even in the absence of end-stage disease. End-stage renal disease is, is the term that's typically um, reserved for patients whose kidney function has deteriorated to the point where they require either dialysis or, tra or transplantation. And so, so end-stage renal disease is sort of the, the end of the spectrum of chronic kidney disease. It's, it's you know, sort of the terminal event, so to speak.